can't believe I'm actually saying this, but we're going for our first drive in over a year. Man, I forgot that this thing has a seriously horrible alignment. Oh God. Oh geez. I forgot how bad the alignment on this was. I probably should not have driven this, but we needed to take it. So we're actually taking this thing to a new body shop. It's a local body shop that's closer to Tim and I. That'd be a little bit easier to get our cars worked on. And since we have so many projects that we need an actual like body work on, figured we should try and find somebody local. So we reached out and the guys over at Sheepy Race actually recommended this shop that's close by them. Also close by Dan over at DH Graphics who does a lot of our car apps. So I figured we might as well go talk to them, see about getting the paint and body work done on the Doug Gregs to start today's video out and just see what we can get done for the beginning of the year because I really want to get this done in ASAP so we can have this thing for car shows this year. But yeah, driving this thing, it is a little bit scary so I'm not going to film you guys can see my steering wheel is cocked to the right and every little bit I give it, this thing likes to get squirrely. So also mission number one for this thing, get this thing freaking aligned. But it does sound very cool. Forgot about that. <laughs> Thank God we're on bags here. Okay, so we have arrived and we are looking for TSM Collision. It's around here somewhere. I think we made it. Nice, well this is a good sign. They already have a Subi wing being painted. Very cool. So we're waiting for the guy to come out of the paint booth right now. We're gonna show him the Subi. We have Efren here and he's gonna be taking a look at the WRX with us and I already told him the code. I wanna keep it a secret from you guys. It's gonna be really cool, I think. But those of you that watched the last video on the WRX, I built this car three, four years ago with the wide body and did all of, like the fiberglass work myself and it's okay. horrible. It's really bad. <laughs> it's not bad for your first time. I mean, I, well, I have all this covering up how bad it is. Yeah, all right. So like all the edges are all kind of like super bunk. Well, maybe not this one because I think I had a body shop kind of like do stuff but you can see it's like cracking yeah. um but like all the edges if you take this like nasty plastic rubber stuff off yeah. they're all like jagged and then if you come look over here um this door like barely opens when i did the kit i didn't i did a horrible job like i said and like it barely opens when it hits this uh my my gas cap like hits right here okay. like i'm gonna go through with him and i show him all these little things but basically we want like a full respray and to fix all the, the bunkness okay you know cool, cool. <laughs> well that was a big success i think we might have found our body shop guys we got some good news he says he has some time at the beginning of the year it's not going to be fast because there is a lot of body work involved obviously because <laughs> the kid is pretty bunk right now but very good news i'm pumped Day two for our video today, finally getting started with the revamp of the WRX, and we're starting out with everybody's favorite mod, an exhaust. Before this one, we had the Tomei, which was unbelievably, probably, it was my favorite exhaust, but it was unbelievably loud. Then we went to this Grimspeed exhaust, and they explained this as like their gentleman's exhaust. And while it was a huge change for me, I actually kind of liked it, because it was a nice change, like when I was driving this every day, having a nice quiet exhaust with like a cool tone was really nice but i feel like i'm ready for something that's in the middle of the tomei craziness and a little bit louder than than the grim speeds gentleman exhaust and as you guys know we've been working a ton with ma performance huge thank you to all of our ma performance guys we are actually doing the ma performance cat back for the wrx today now if you guys want to check out this exhaust for yourself get it for your wrx or sti i'm going to go ahead and leave a link to this exhaust down below when we lift this car up i'll show you guys the difference between the grim speed exhaust and the ma performance exhaust Here we have our Grim Speed cat bag for the 2015 WX and STI. We installed this and like I said, it was a massive change to how loud the car previously was, but it was good. Now I'm trying to find that like midpoint between very, very quiet and the Tomei being very, very loud. I feel like this is where MAP's exhaust comes. It's gonna be awesome. The difference between the Grim Speed and we should probably unbox this 
for you guys, but the difference between that exhaust and the MA Performance exhaust is these big old juicy mufflers. And the resonator's actually smaller on the MA. Yeah, yeah, this is a massive resonator, and you guys can actually see the resonator on the cat back. That's a little baby guy right there. It's gonna ultimately be louder, but quieter than Tomei. Tomei was it's gonna be ETS range. No, ETS was. It's, this is straight pipe besides that little thing right there. If, you, if you're really OG, you guys remember the very first exhaust I ever had in Mississippi, and that was the ETS exhaust. When Tim and I turned that exhaust on when we put the downpipe on, it literally blew out the I mic. I think on I the might have the old video of you going down my street <laughs> and it's like popping and banging. Almost done, hopefully. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. This is the first ever cold start with the NVIDIA Catalyst and ETS Extreme Exhaust. <laughs> That was so freaking cool. But this is gonna be a little bit quieter. Like I keep saying, it's gonna be like a good medium point between extremely loud and quiet. Now, since we're on the subject here of modifying the WRX, Tim and I have pretty much done everything there is to do to one of these cars, and uh, bolt-on wise, I guess you could say. And we even replaced the turbo on this car with a direct, kind of like the same thing we did on the Type R with a direct drop-in OEM location turbo. And something that I do want to do, I actually have the very nice Fujitsubo headers right here. Something that I do want to do is get a new set of headers that have external wastegates so that we can run more boost on our upgraded turbo. Because that's something that we were lacking when we did that turbo. And that's something that we could do now since we're starting to work on the car again. MAP, we need you to build us a custom header with twin wastegates, please. But that's for, la that's for later on. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this exhaust and show you guys what it looks like. New exhaust, old exhaust. Ready to get started? Yes, sir. I got it. Got frosty water here. Oh, gross! Oh, oh! That's nasty. That's that's pretty stank. Oh. Got it. This thing's also so heavy. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. <sighs> Old Grim Speed exhaust is for sale. So if anybody local in SoCal wants a very nice gentleman's exhaust from Grim Speed, we have it for sale. Quick little comparison. This is <laughs> this is what we get. This versus that. Oh, Tim, you know this This feels like the old days, dude. It Look at this. It feels like the old, old car. <laughs> it's, it's probably gonna sound like the old It car. probably will. It's got spicy tips on here. Thank you, MAP, for the nice shiny burnt titanium tips here. Those are beautiful. So we have got everything all, we, it's not tightened down yet, so we still have to adjust the tips and all that stuff, but very, very easy install. It's got your basic mid pipe, but then it is V-band to the Y pipe, and then you have slip joints that go on to the tips, and that's all you have. So we're gonna go ahead, get to adjusting. We'll put the tips on, show you guys, and get the first start. Man, the MAP exhaust looks freaking awesome. That is sweet. I love the tips. Now, before we set it down and finish up with the exhaust, we have one last thing to do, and we're gonna be doing the first oil change in a year. Oh, oh just damn. 
That came out very soft. Yeah, first oil change in a very, very, very long it's time. It's black. You can, yeah, it's, it's pretty black. Much needed. <laughs> We've got some VR1 10W30 that we're gonna be putting in her, and she should be good to go. So on a scale from one to 10, how hard do you think this is gonna be at all to get off? Impossible. Impossible? You have, you have the tool though, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, you know what? Is it coming? Just coming. That means it was done right. <laughs> she is a little crusty, but to be expected. Oh. That's bad. Yeah, get that away that's from That's so bad. Let me clean that. Good as new, Tim. Good as new. Yeah, all the rust is off of there. Man. <laughs> Clean her out with some VR1. She really needs it. It does look a lot better in here, though. It looks so much better now, guys. I'm so stoked. And especially when you guys get to see the car redone. We had a really good meeting with the body shop. So we're going to take some time, get some things done that we have to on the car before we drop it off. Because it'll probably be gone for a good four months or so he said just because the body work is extensive so that's why we're trying to find the trunk trying to do like the wastegate and stuff before that so that once out of the body shop it's just totally good and ready to go and rip and hopefully like i keep saying we can reveal it at slam enough gatlinburg because that's like really where I started doing car shows and started filming and did this YouTube channel it was all about car shows and to bring this back to one of the shows I used to go to back in the south that'd be really cool Last but not least, you guys already know. And while you guys are thinking about it, over 50% of you are not subscribed to the channel right That's now. That's right. Do me a favor, go just a little bit down, hit that subscribe button. Let's hit 700K, 7,000 away right yeah. now. That's insane. So 50% of you guys that aren't subscribed, subscribe. So we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up. Oh my. Got it. Ugh. Okay. You put the oil cap back on, right? Yes. Okay. It'll probably be a cold start too. Yeah. This is what the car needed. This is its personality. It's got a nice idle to it too. All right, Tim's gonna rip it for us. Much better. Oh, we got the turbo noise back. Oh, I forgot about that. MAP, you guys crushed it with this exhaust. I think the resonator, the resonator adds like a perfect, like, that's awesome. And so we're paired with the Catless NVIDIA J pipe. So it is Catless and it, it just makes for a perfect combination. Give me one more. That's awesome. That's so good. Let's go rip it. I'm so happy. This is what the car needed. <laughs> She's back. I remember when she used to do that. I, I just want you to look at that last video of you going by. 
I remember when she used to do that all the time. Me too. <laughs> She's back. This feels so damn good. Oh my god, this is the first video we filmed of 2023 and this is the best way to kick it off. <laughs> this is so, Tim, I'm so happy, dude. Oh my god, it feels so good. Let's pull her in. She's back. I remember. I remember. <laughs> and sound back into the garage. Guys, don't forget if you want this exhaust for your WX or STI, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to MA Performance down in the description box below. And if you're not a WRX STI guy, literally every car in the shop has something from MA Performance. So I'm sure you guys can find something for your cars too. And you can help out the channel by using my link down in the description box below. WRX is back back, baby. Well, I really hope that you guys are as pumped as I am about this because the WRX is officially back, like I've said 8 million times, but it just makes me happy. Letting it sit for so long, I forgot all the good things and all the things I loved about this car that just made it my car. You guys know what I mean? And it just feels nice to have it back and to revive it back to all of its glory. It's gonna be awesome. Like I said, we got a couple of things that we wanna do left before we can bring it to the body shop, but it's gonna be done this year. And the goal is to reveal it at Slam Enough Gatlinburg. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Oh, by the way, before we do that, I wanna let you guys know that I am now uploading content every single day. So when I'm not uploading on the main channel here, we do have a gaming channel where I'm posting some of my streams and gameplays on that channel. So if you guys want content every single day, definitely go check out the gaming video. It's a ton of fun, just a cool, different way to interact with you guys. It's not just on this channel. <laughs> you absolutely deserve that. Gaming is one of my big passions. We've currently set up my entire room, which I'll be doing an office tour soon, um, just for gaming, and it's it's really cool. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I'll leave the gaming channel link down below. Huge thank you to MA Performance. Go check them out for any of your automotive needs. They are amazing and have probably anything you're looking for. But I'm gonna go and end the video here. If you guys have not already, please hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.